Hi guys, it's Rain, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this problem, I'll be going over question 120 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, as you're attempted, let's just dive right in. So they say this is a f of x and the time in hours the process of claim size x is uniform distri distributed on an interval from x to 2x. So I'm actually going to call this y, y to be the time it takes to process. So this is actually dependent on y, so this f of y given x is uniform on x to 2x. So that means for uniform distribution, we know that to be equal to 1 over b minus a, where b a is the um, lower limit and b is the upper limit. So then for this one, this is equal to 2x minus x, which is equal to 1 over x. Okay, and we also know that f of y given x is equal to the f of xy divided by f of x, the margin distribution of x. So then we can say that the f of xy is equal to f of x times f of y given x. And then we know f of x is equal to this thingy here. So 3 over 8 x squared times f of y given x is here, right here, 1 over x. So then that means this is equal to 3 over 8 x. And then, and then we're asked to find that calculate the probability that randomly chosen claim on this policy is processed in 3 hours or more. So you know we, we know y is the time it takes to process, so then they're basically asking what is the probability that y is greater than 3 hours. Alright, whew, that's a little mouthful, I kind of said it pretty fast. I'm actually going to draw this graph real, out real quick. So this is like 0 to 2, right? Oh goodness. And this, let this be y is equal to x, and let this be equal to y is equal to 2x. And we know that x exists from 0 to 2, so let this be 2. Then we know that this point right here is 2, and this point right here is 4. And we're asked to find the probability that y is greater than 3, so let's say this is like 3. Then we're asked to find the probability that it's greater than 3, so like this area right here, basically. <laughs> so that means we actually have to find from 3 to 4, right? Because because the maximum value y can take is 4. Of f of y, so we actually need the marginal distribution of y in order to find the probability that y is greater than y, greater than 3, dy. Alright, cool stuff. We know by definition, f of y, the marginal distribution of y, is equal to negative infinity and infinity of x, f of xy, dx. So integrating, we know f of x is given here, so that's 3 over 8x dx, don't forget that part. And what is the range? So this one's a little bit tricky. So if we're integrating respect to x like this way, right, then the lower limit is going to be this line here, which is y is equal to 2x. But if we're integrating respect to x, we can solve this for x. So this is equal to x is equal to y over 2. That's the lower limit, y over 2. And what would be the upper limit? Well, no matter what, no matter where you are, right? Like, no matter where you are in this line, it's always the maximum value that x could be is 2. Because this is where x exists on. So this is equal to 2. Alrighty, so then just solving this out, when you solve for x, you get x squared. 3 over 16, integrating the x from y over 2 to 2. This is equal to 3 over 16, throwing that outside. You get 4 minus y squared over 4. So this is equal to the marginal distribution of y. So we actually have everything we need to find this thing right here. So that's again going from 3 to 4 of the marginal distribution of y. I'm going to throw the constant outside, 3 over 16, 4 minus y squared over 4 dy. So then this taking an antiderivative, this is equal to 4y minus y cubed over 12, integrating from 3 to 4 of 3 over 16. Then this is equal to 3 over 16. Plugging in the upper limit, you get um, 4 times 4, which is 16, minus here 4 cubed. Divide by 12, which is equal to about 16 over 3, minus putting in the lower limit, 4 times 3, 12, 
minus minus positive 3 to the cubed power is 27 over 12, which is equal to 9 fourth. Plugging that into a calculator, you get this is approximately equal to 0.171875, which is our answer A. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!